we here in this country pride ourselves in the federalist system where we have these semi-autonomous states that can develop their own culture and traditions, laws, customs, and we feel that that's sort of a safety valve that when the federal government gets oppressive or tries to be too uniform, a, a state can reestablish its secular traditional identity. But we don't realize that there's been times in American history where the, the sheer semi-autonomous nature of states and the freedom to travel and to move have given a self-selecting or force multiplying effect to national differences. We saw that in the 1850s. It wasn't so much moving as there was a group of southern states, 11 of them, on the issue of slavery was, were, you know, led to the Civil War. What we're seeing now is about four to six million people moving, and almost 90% of them are moving in one direction from a blue state, Illinois, New York, California, Minnesota, Michigan, to a red state. And it's massive. And the red states have an entirely different code of laws as they pertain, pertain to abortion, guns, they have cultural differences on religion, on the traditions of the United States, military service, et cetera, et cetera. And there's an adjudicator, there's a third party reality, and that is the red states are not insolvent. They are working. They do not have a problem with big city prosecutors. Their campuses, for the most part, are quiet. The city councils in red cities, the mayors and the governors of red states will not tolerate what we're seeing at Stanford University where I work, or Princeton, or Yale, or Columbia, or Chicago, all of these big blue cities where our blue chip universities are. So this is an accelerant of a, a kind of a strange and, and maybe even dangerous trend that the country is bifurcating. There's, you could make the argument that Tennessee feels closer to Florida, to Arizona, to Texas than they do uh, much closer than Illinois or California. But what's what I'm getting at is maybe more close and more with more affinity with each other than they do the United States, and vice versa with the blue states. Yeah, and it's it's something that's has geopolitical ramifications if that were to be true.